What's up, YouTube family? Okay, I'm in my kitchen and I don't have any of the things I normally have, like a gimbal or any of the things to hold up my camera so I'm using my hands. But I had to share this, okay? I'm gonna make something and I want you to see it. All right, burritos. I've charred these on open flame. I won't go through that. All you do is turn on the flame like that. Get yourself a flame. I actually will go through it with you. All right, because it's so quick. I used to be afraid of it. It's easy. Throw that on there. Get some tongs. Move it around. Flip it carefully. You got to kind of know what you're doing a little bit. You got to practice a little bit. Go like this, you'll burn it. Keep on flipping. See what I did? I burned it. Quickly, just turn it off. No big deal about that. You can fix that later. Point is, because it happens every once in a while, take it. Never touch this end of your tongs. Always touch the other end. Now you have a nicely charred, and it's gonna taste amazing burrito. Now, which burritos did I use? These are spinach wraps. I like that. This is my favorite. Don't know, just have to do what I do, but I love them. They're effing good. Now, this is just vegetables, whatever I decided I wanted to cook. Lots of awesome vegetables. So, I'm gonna take that, make a burrito. But the main thing I want to show you is on top of the burrito, so it melts and goes into your system. It's amazing. It is nutritional yeast. I use that instead of cheese. Why? Because I'm trying to go as much as I can off of any animal products. I still eat um, fish. At times, I still eat eggs, but for the most part, I try not to. And I'm trying to wean that down. But the main thing is cheese and things like that. This is amazing. You can also grind cashews. I'll show that another time. I actually made a pizza and a lasagna with this and the nutritional yeast and also the cashews grind down. Mix it up, let it melt, and it's amazing. So I just wanted to share that with you. And I'm gonna take and roll up a burrito, take the meat on it, and I'm gonna roll it up. I won't be able to do it for you live because I don't have my gimbal or my setup. Normally I would, but I was in a hurry, and it's Friday, and I was in a great mood, and just wanted to make this. And while I was doing it and being in a great mood, I said, you know what, let me share that with my phase two people. My little friends that I have become to know and like to um, share what I know. And I'm not like all knowing of anything, but the point is, I've been working on this for about 10 years, about making my footprint better. See that awesome potato? That's an awesome potato, it's a purple one. What's cool is over here is a whole ton of potatoes. There's a purple, there's a red, there's a regular, there's a funky right there. There's all kinds of amazing over here, okay? This is what we do. Eventually we're gonna live on a ship, but right now that's not what we're doing. <laughs> anyway, right now we're trying to make, we have this right here. And I make pretty darn good burritos when I wrap them. I won't be able to do that in front of you because I, don't ha I literally don't have a gimbal to do it. I'm not a gimbal, but a stand. Normally I do, but right now I just didn't, I didn't prepare. I grabbed my stuff, I came downstairs and said, let me do this for my YouTube family. I was trying to do it on the fly. <laughs> and I kind of failed a little, I fell a little bit short on what I wanted to do. And um, forgot to go, hey, make sure you grab a gimbal, not a gimbal, but a, a stand, a camera stand. And I forgot, cause I was in a hurry. I have a corporate job too. So I'm uh, actually on lunch break. I took this, and I like a healthy little amount of it. The cool thing is, this is nothing but awesome for you. Check this out. Read it. Vegan, gluten-free, wonderful nutty flavor, which is true, not sweetened, fortified premium flakes. And look at this. Where did it say it? It's awesome. Man, hang on. Forgive me for this, but I'm trying to show you the protein and stuff because I thought it said it more clear. I thought I had found it really clear. But protein is off the hook. Right there, nine grams. I thought I had it loud and clear, but I guess it doesn't. Um, hang on. Let me see if I can zoom it for you, in fact. I want to zoom it so you can see. This is really great. Yes, I knew I could. Really great stuff. All the things are in it. Look at this. 
This is all amazing stuff, okay? Amazing. Check this out. I'm wrapping it slowly so you can see. See that? Look at that fiber. That's amazing. So the total carbs on that is really, really um, very minimal. And the protein is really, really awesome. Hang on, I'm trying to make it, like I said, gimballess and all this stuff. There you go, nine grams, that's protein. It's amazing. And if you go get this stuff, you will be completely thrilled with it. The flavor on it's great. I don't eat stuff just because it's healthy and it tastes like poopy. I don't do that. I eat only awesome. I want it to taste often so that I want it to taste awesome. So I stick with it. I want it to taste awesome. Otherwise, why try it? I'm not just going to have something just because. I'm going to make sure that it's awesome or I'm not going to have it because you won't stick with anything that's not good. You'll go, you know what? I want to go get a taco. You know what? I want to go get a fat man burrito at a restaurant that I frequent, used to frequent all the time. I still do here and there. The point is, I don't only eat this stuff. It's I eat that when I'm home, and then at times I go out, but for the most part, I don't. You know why? I eat stuff that tastes really good, and I cook stuff that tastes really good. I don't want to have it if it doesn't. I'm not one of these people that eats it just for the sake of eating it. I just don't. I'd rather not have it. I'd rather go, never mind. That's all I'm saying. So I wanted to share that with you because it's really, really cool. And it's really, really worth me showing it to you. And if you try it, you'll be happy. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Share with your friends and stay tuned. I have lots more to come on how you can make a better footprint for the environment and for you, for your health. That's what I've been into for the past 10 years is how can I make me healthy and help cancer not come and mess me up. That's my big drive. I've been doing this for like 15 years it started, but me getting into it really to the nitty gritty has been going on for about 10. And I haven't eaten fast food in about six or seven. I don't know 100%, but it's been a long time. And my husband and I have not had any fast food. We just could go home or either eat out. And when we eat, we kind of pay attention to what they put in it as much as we can. And I've been doing vegetarian for about, or I'm sorry, piscatarian is the proper. I still eat, like I said, fish. But I've been doing that for about five years, pretty successfully, because I've not done it. And I grew up in the South, where I ate the heck out of all kinds of meats. Fresh, pork, chicken, cow, all of it, and the best of it as a kid and growing up, and I loved it. Thing is, I loved it like most people watching love it. The point is, I wanted to stop doing it for health reasons, but also ethical. But the point is, look up the health on it and you'll understand why. It's amazing. And I started dig diving, um, deep diving into it and I was shocked at what we don't know as a society because they don't tell you, they kind of hide it. And that's okay. Go research on your own. You don't take my words for any of this stuff. Always go research on your own. Trust, but verify always. But that's why I have made choices that I have. And that's why I've been cooking at home. And I hope you enjoyed what I just shared with you. And I hope you try some. Come back and see us. Please like, please subscribe, please share with your friends. Thank you. I'm glad you're going on this journey with us. Appreciate it. Have a good day. Bye.